So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going to focus on the topic getting started with basics of JavaScript for Google Earth Engine. So we're going to focus on exploring the satellite image in Google Earth Engine. So we're going to introduce the basic operations in Earth Engine, including image loading, metadata inspections and visualization of satellite imagery. So first, we're going to access the Landsat 5 image in Google Earth Engine. So to access the Landsat 5 image in uh, Google Earth Engine, we define this variable called first image equals to earth engine dot image so we are referring to landsat uh, landsat 5 collection 2 level 2 and specifying the uh, image id for the particular uh, referring to those particular satellite image so this is the image id to refer only that particular satellite image so to next to view the details about this particular image we define print first image so first image which represents this particular variable. So now let us run this code. I'm going to click this option called run. So now in the console section, uh, you can able to visualize this is our image that is Lancet 5 image. I'm going to click the zero. So you can in, uh, able to view the different uh, metadata properties of this particular satellite image. Uh, first we have the bands. So there is around 19 elements and uh, you can able to view this and similarly in the properties, uh, I'm going to visualize the metadata properties of this particular satellite image. I'm going to click the zero. So here, so here you can able to view the different metadata property of this particular satellite image here that is given. So you can able to view the map projection, which is an UTM. And we have the sun azimuth, which is given here and sun elevation and UTM zone and WRS path and WRS row. So likewise, you can able to view the different metadata property of this particular image using this particular script here. So print first image to view the metadata property of this particular satellite image. So next, we're going to focus on. So now in the second example, we're going to visualize this particular uh, satellite image. So to visualize this particular satellite image, first we have to define map.addLayer and referring to this particular variable first image representing our Landsat uh, 5 image and the bands we are referring to this particular band that is uh, SR B1 which represents the surface reflectance band 1 and we are setting with a minimum value of around 8000 and a maximum value of around 17000 and last uh, we're gonna output the layer as uh, layer 1 that is we're gonna output the image name as a layer 1 and the SR B1 here which selects the SR B1 band uh, representing the blue uh, wavelength uh, band uh, in this case here and here we are setting a minimum of 8000 and a maximum 17000 which is used for the visualization purposes to control how the pixel values are scaled from the gray value from black to white basically it represents the contrast and the brightness of the satellite image and last we are defined as a layer 1 to output the this particular layer name as the layer 1 so that is the name of the layer to be uh, displayed in our layer manager so now to uh, run this code and visualize the result here so we're going to navigate to this option called run and click run script so now we have this first image here so this is our uh, sr uh, band one of uh, lancet 5 image you can able to visualize this particular image I'm gonna zoom so now we can able to visualize this image here let me turn to a satellite mode here so this is the SR band wand uh, which represents the blue band in Lancet 5 image. So now the next example. So we're going to add the multiple bands as a layer in, uh, in our Google Earth engine. So to add the band SR B2 that is surface reflectance band uh, band 2 which is a green band in Lancet 5 image. So to add a multiple bands uh, we defined as a map.add layer. So first image referring to our Lancet uh, 5 image. And the bands here, we are referring to this particular band, SR B2. So let me show you that. So this is a Landsat 5 image and the band that is available here, so SR B2. So SR B2 represents the green band, that is band 2. And uh, SR band 2 has a wavelength of uh, 0 0.52 to 0 0.60 micrometers. So you can able to see here, this is the wavelength of this particular band. So we are referring the only the SR B2 that is our green band 
and we are setting our minimum and maximum value so the minimum and maximum value which represents the the pixel values is scaled from the gray scales to uh, gray scale from black to white to adjust the brightness and the contrast of this particular image and we're gonna output the layer as a layer 2 and similarly to add the SRB3 that is our red band in our Lancet 8 image to work uh, in Google Earth Engine so we defined as a map.add layer and uh, first image referring to our Lancet 5 image and the bands we are referring to SRB3 that is our SRB3 refers to the band 3 that is a red band has a wavelength of 0 0.63 to 0 0.69 micrometers so to access that particular band we defined bands uh, and SRB3 and the minimum and maximum representing the brightness and the contrast of this image and output the layer as layer 3 and to center this particular image we define map.center object first image with a specific zoom level of 7 which is a suitable zoom level of 7 I have mentioned it so now let us visualize the result so we're gonna navigate to uh, this option called run here I'm gonna click run and to the layer section here so we have three different layer first layer is a BR uh, that is SRB1 and second is SRB2 and third is SRB3 so now we're gonna visualize this layer individually so this is a uh, SRB1 we're gonna turn off and this is the uh, this is SRB1 and this is SRB2 and this SR B3 band in Landsat uh, 5 image. So now we have managed to add uh, multiple bands to our uh, Earth Engine platform. So next we're gonna create a true color composite using our Landsat 5 image. So it can also be called as a natural color. So now to create a true color composite, uh, true color composite image of Landsat 5 image. So to visualize in true color composite uh, layer, so we define map.add layer and referring to the Lancet 5 image that is first image and uh, bands we are going to use is uh, SRB3 and SRB2 and SRB1 so these bands to be arranged in this order to in order to visualize this particular Lancet 8 image in true color composite that is in natural color so the SRB1 is a uh, blue band is displayed in blue channel and the SRB2 that is a B2 which is a, a green band which is displayed in green channel and the SRB3 is a red band is displayed in red channel and the combination of this band uh, will produce a, an image that looks like a photograph taken uh, by a camera in a visible light and the minimum and maximum value so as I said earlier which is a, a contrast brightness in the contrast of the image so this particular minimum and maximum is a suitable value for this particular image and uh, we can output the layer as natural color so uh, let us visualize the result we're going to navigate to this uh, option called run and we're going to click run so i'm going to navigate to the layer section here and in the natural color so i'm going to turn off other layers here so now you can uh, able to visualize this is our natural color composite of our landsat 5 image i'm going to zoom it So now here you can able to visualize it. The you are currently visualizing the Lancet 5 image in true color composite. So you can able to visualize the different water bodies and uh, the urban settlements, roads, and vegetation in uh, true color composite. Earlier it was in uh, we just represented uh, this particular image in one band of Lancet 5 image, and now it is in true color composite. So you can able to see that this is the uh, river so uh, you can able to visualize this a river and uh, these are the sandbars in this particular uh, study region and these are the urban areas so it looks a kind of a braided stream here so let me uh... so now we're gonna move on to the example file here so next we're gonna create a false color composite using Lancet 5 image so now to visualize our Lancet 5 image in uh, false color composite so we're gonna use this following bands that is near infrared band and red band and green band so SRB4 this uh, represents the near infrared band mapped to the red channel and uh, SRB3 uh, is a red band is mapped to the green channel 
and SRB2 is a green band is mapped to the blue channel. So the combination of this band will uh, gives us the, the false color composite image of uh, in Landsat using level Landsat 8 image and this is our minimum and maximum value the brightness and the contrast of the image and we can output the layer as false color. So the false color composite is an image where the bands representing the wavelengths that are not visible to our human eyes. So are the mapped uh, to uh, a visible color spectrum. This enhances the certain features such as the vegetation by displaying them in exaggerated or in different colors. So this particular uh, the false color composite is very useful to scale to make the features such as vegetation to stand out more clearly. So now let us run this code. I'm going to navigate to the run section here. I'm going to click run. And now let us visualize the result. So first uh, I'm going to turn off other layers here. I'm going to turn off layer 3 and 1 here. And uh, this is our true color composite image. And uh, now we're going to visualize our false color composite image. So now here you can clearly able to visualize our false color composite image all the red area which indicates the vegetation so so all the red area which indicates the vegetation areas here so this particular false color composite is uh, very useful in order to highlight the vegetation areas so now here you can able to visualize this is a false color composite image of Lancet 5 you can uh, able to uh, distinguish between the the roads and urban areas from the vegetation So in our next example, uh, we're going to use our inspector tool. Uh, this is available in Google Earth Engine. So inspecting the pixel with uh, inspector tool. So for that, I can use the specific uh, band of Landsat 8 image. So that is a Landsat 5 image of SRB1. So I'm going to add this layer that is map.add layer. To add this layer, we define map.add layer and referring to the first image of Landsat uh, 5. And in that, we are specifically selecting, uh, we are mentioning this particular band in Landsat 5, that is SRB1, that is our, let me show you that. So SRB1 represents the band 1 blue surface reflectance. So I'm going to add that particular band, and you're setting my minimum and maximum value for the brightness and the contrast of the image. And I'm going to output the layer as uh, layer 1. And uh, let us run this code, and uh, we're going to visualize the result. So I do have already mentioned the layer 1. So anyway, we're going to run this code. So now here we have a, a series of image here. I'm going to turn off all other layers, including layer 1 to 3 and the natural and, and the false color composite image. So we're going to focus specifically uh, specifically on this particular band that is our uh, SRB1 band of Lancet 5 image. I'm going to use this inspector tool here and uh, I'm going to click on this uh, uh, the land, this particular SRB1 band here and now in the inspector section uh, you can visualize this uh, different uh, details about this uh, particular uh, image so you can use this inspector tool in earth engine uh, to inspect the pixel values in uh, from different bands so this allows you to uh, you to explore the data stored in each pixel of this image so for example the layer 1 here so this particular uh, represents SRB1 band and uh, this is the pixel values for this particular band. So you can also try the different uh, areas in this image here. I'm going to place my uh, inspector tool in this part of this image. And the layer 1, now we can uh, visualize the values here. So the highest pixel value that is observed uh, in ST band 6 has a, a pixel value of more than 40,000. That is around 45,312 has a band value. And our B1, that is SRB1, has a band value of 9,292. So in this way, you can uh, use your inspector tool to uh, investigate the 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 band values in uh, different uh, the different bands in this uh, Lancet 5 image. And now this is our summary of the code here. So we're gonna reset this. And uh, step one, uh, we're gonna load the Lancet 5 image. And step two, to visualize the metadata, we define print first image. And to add the individual bands to the map, we defined map.add layer first image, bands SRB1, and similarly SRB2 and SRB3. And we have mentioned the layer 1, layer 2, and layer 3. So to view as uh, this particular Lancet 5 image in natural color composite, so we define this uh, band in this sequence starting from SRB3 
and SRB2 and SRB1. In this sequence, the, the satellite image will be visualized in a true color composite that is a natural color and uh, output the layer as natural color. And next, to create a false color composite, uh, to add this layer, we define map to add layer, referring to of, uh, this particular variable that is our Landsat 5 image. And uh, bands in this sequence will gives us a false color composite of Landsat 5 image. And the minimum and maximum represents the brightness and the contrast of the image and output as a false color. So we're gonna run this code. I'm gonna click this option called run and we're gonna visualize the result. So now in the layer section, you can uh, able to see the layer one. So this is the layer one and followed by this is layer two. This is layer three and this is natural color composite. And uh, last is the false color composite. So in this video, we have focused on uh, getting started with the basics of JavaScript for Google Earth Engine. And we have explored uh, different, uh, we explored the satellite images, the metadata properties, and uh, we have visualized the satellite image in true color and in false color composite. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.